University of Jaws hires hunters to protest campus hostels from bandit attacks. All right, the news in detail. In a bid to protect students and staff from attacks, the authorities of the University of Jaws Plateau State have engaged the services of the local hunters to secure the school. Over the past few years and few months, if you can recall, the nation has been plugged to with incident bandit attack, in including kidnapping, killing, and attack on public institutions. With regards to this, the outgoing vice chancellor of the university sus suspended and uh, Sebastian Mapako while speaking on Tuesday during the valedictory section to mark the end of his five year tenure, said hunters will now help in securing the school. According to the VC, it is no longer news that the security situation in the country is quite tedious, hence, the need for the security measure. He said, according to him, this is why, under my administration, we made fantastic efforts to ensure that all lives and property within the university are adequately protected. All right, while speaking, he further said, when we got a security report that we were so soft and next target, we closed our hostels for almost two weeks and suspended the chores eventually before we could reopen. We were given a condition that we must implore the services of the local hunters to help us secure our hostels, particularly at night. Today, as he continued to say, this is where we are. We thank God the Director of Peace and Conflict Studies, looking at the happening, has offered a train these hunters in the rule of engagement in their working in the university. According to Marco Mamako, he is a collaboration with the various security efforts and as part led to the significant drop in crime in the university. He also said the institution under, this, under his leadership recorded tremendous achievement in other areas under the period of five years when he served as vice chancellor. He also said his administration during the period under various and initiated and completed about 85 projects which have been inaugurated. Meanwhile, this is common aimed report that popular Islamic cleric Sakai Abu Bakr Kumi has revealed that uh, there are about 100,000 armed bandits residing in the northwest of forest alone. Gumi disclosed this in an interview with the punch while writing to effort of release kidnapped people of the Virginia Islamic School, Niger State. According to 100, about 156 children were adopted, which he said, from the Salihu Islamic School in Rifa local government area of Niger State. This, the school located at uh, the Jinnia was on Sunday, May 30th at about 4.30 p.m., invaded by bandits who shot two people dead as they cried out the attack. The Jinnia is about 20 kilometers to Kekera, where secondary school students were adopted recently and a commercial melting port for passengers traveling to northwest and north and southwest of Nigeria. Source in the town said that the adopted people were between the three and 14 years of age, adding that some of the victims could hardly walk. Speaking to the interview, Gumi said until the government engaged with the Heisman, no school could be safe. According to Gumi, until banditry is put to an end, the government cannot protect schools. With regards to this, to this rescue effort, Gumi said that the bandits kidnapping schools, people were disappointed that he negotiated with them without the involvement of the federal government, adding that one of them who repented went back to kidnapping, saying the cleric had no mandate from the government. Gomez said, I quote, We are trying to walk or talk sense to them that these are just innocent school children. We don't even have any idea of the condition of the children. We are just trying these uh, young children, trying to study, and they did nothing. So why are you trying to take dirty money from their families? This, the kidnap of uh, Islamic people, actually proved to the nation that the bandits are not really in, indoctrinated. They are just looking for money. And I think that this is a good negotiation 
and a good prognosis. All right. They are not uh, targeting a religion. They are not dialogues, which are difficult to deal with. We should not forget that they are not adopted or educated. They formally or informally, they are just going about with cattle and suddenly they find a lucrative way of finding money. Meanwhile, with good engagement, education and enticement like jobs and other things, they will leave this job, according to him. But we need a part. We need a partner, and we need the government to understand. Individual like me alone cannot do it. Kumi said. All those we met have stopped kidnapping. He continued to say, except for one of them who is kidnapping again. And he told her that his reason that he was neg neglected, and the thought he had the mandate to negotiate, but. When he really, when he realized that we did not have the mandate from anybody, he said he was going back to his business. So he said, the earlier we go into engaging them, the better. The ones we have agreed to lay down arms, you can in engineer them to take care of the rest. All right, the Islamic cleric added that the Niger state government have been making effort to get the children released, adding that the state had limited resources. He insisted that the government should not uh, protest schools without first finding means to end mandatory in the country. Further, continue to say, as I quote, to secure schools, they are not engaged the bandits. Engage them, they are not many. You can count them with your fingers. How can you guard schools it is possible it's not possible in the whole northwest there may not be more than one hundred thousand bandits and that is just a drop in the ocean all right that is talking about those with uh, weapons because not all of them have weapons 99 percent of those who have uh, weapons used them to protect themselves against cattle rottlers they are victims too. Aerial bombardment will only worsen the situation because when you start uh, killing their children, you remember they also have their own children. Alright, this is coming from Gumi as this has been as it is. Well, let me have your take on this as you remember to also tap on the subscription button. Let's uh, just hope hunters will not uh, end up working with bandit that is my prayers and uh, another proof that nigeria is uh, also a state where insecurity has been a, a major challenging and uh, it is time let's at least let's try the hunters and see what they can come up off with all right this is an idea this is a very good idea since our police cannot protect us. All right, let me have your take on this and remember to tap on the subscription button for more updates. Thank you and God bless you.